Welcome to Whiskey One, the channel for the novice, the curious, and the connoisseur. I'm Whiskey One, and today, say hello to my little friend, Garrison Brothers Cowboy Bourbon in the house. I can't wait to get into this, so stick around. Whiskey fam, whiskey fam. We are going to have ourselves probably a hell of a dram. Full disclosure, this was sent to us just so we could review it, kind of give some tasting notes and let all you guys watching what to expect for the upcoming 2023 release. Now I've never personally had cowboy bourbon and this from what I have read is gonna be their highest proof biggest release to date. This is their ninth release upcoming. Now this is going to be sent out to the public, released to the public on Saturday, September the 23rd of 2023. And I can't wait to get into this little, little dude right here. Now, I will just let you all know that I do like a good high proof whiskey. My God, look at the color on that. That thing's like a burnt mahogany. Man, that is dark. That has got some color to it. Now, what I will let you know also is this is a limited release. It's done annually. This is going to be their ninth release to date. Now, this in particular is going to have a release of 9,600 bottles. And about a thousand of them are going to be saved just for their big loyal fans. So those of you that are part of that crew, uh, you're probably gonna be very lucky to get your hands on this from everything that I've read. Also what I've learned is that Garrison Brothers happens to be the first other distillery besides Kentucky distillers to make a bourbon outside of Kentucky. Fun fact. Now I'm ready to get into this sucker, especially because I'm a proof hound, so I do like the higher proof whiskeys. This is an uncut, unfiltered bourbon at that. So there's no watering down, there's no filtering going on with this sucker. And just look at that beautiful color. I like, I like a lot of color in my whiskey. This is bordering on like coffee. It's just really dark, luscious. Now, as far as overall presentation, as you would expect for being 140 point, yep, 0.9% proof, uh, this thing is going to be packing a punch. So I'm not intimidated. I'm looking forward to it. But you know, those of you watching may not be used to high proof whiskey. Now I'm honestly humbled that Garrison Brothers sent the sample to me just so I could review this and that they trust my palate. Uh, we recently did a whiskey review of their Guadalupe. I found it to be very interesting and just a ton of flavor and exciting bottle. So if this cowboy bourbon is anything close, to the Guadalupe, you guys are in store for a very, very special treat. So let's go ahead and get into this. Starting with the nose. Wow. So mind you, this is like a proof bomb, right? This is 140 proof. There's not too many whiskeys that I own that are above, I would say like 130, 135. So to be 140, this is gonna be probably my most highest proof whiskey to date. Um, at least that I've reviewed here on the channel and I'm very excited for this. And I think for you guys that are maybe not used to high proof stuff, are probably thinking like you're gonna get an ethanol punch when you try this. And the reason I bring this up is the initial nosing is very inviting, warming, yes, but lovely. It's not like overbearing in any way. But what I initially get is just this heavy dose of like dark caramel and toffee right on the nose. Just very sweet and inviting. I'm gonna go back to it because I just wanted to point that out. You get leather, sure. You get tobacco, kind of interesting. Some dark chocolate. Not like a sweet chocolate, like milk chocolate, but almost like a dark cacao on the nose. But like most other bourbons, you get, you get rounds of baking spices. There's a good amount of like cinnamon, a little bit of rye, 
little bit of that rye spice. So, you know, I would, I would say like a little anise. It does have a little small black licorice to it. Now this does remind me of another Texas bourbon that I'm a big, huge fan of. Um, you know, I don't know if there's any like healthy competition between say Balcones and Garrison Brothers, but they, Balcones does have a blue corn bourbon um, that they put out annually, which is a very, very flavorful and intense bourbon. This feels right on par with that. I get a lot of complexity. I get a lot of depth to it, a little darkness. Uh, it is sweet, but it's also earthy. And that's what this feels like. Very earthy on the nose. So let's get right into this taste, shall we? Cheers. Mm. Whoa. Okay. Man. This is intense. This is not for the faint of heart, just because when you talk about flavor, complexity, intensity, it's all of those things packed into one, one little dram, if you will. I'm gonna be jealous for you guys that are gonna get your hands on a full bottle. Now, why do I say that? Obviously, initial sip is very impressive. Mind you, this is, from what the literature says, a six-year minimum aged whiskey. Now, these are hand-selected by their master distiller, and what they essentially do is pick out, like, the honey barrels, and they put those aside just for cowboy bourbon, and annually they release it out to the public, and I gotta say, wow, <laughs> I'm really impressed. And I knew that I was excited to get into this just because of the overall presentation of this wee bottle. Uh, it is only four ounces, but I'm gonna enjoy every last bit of this. Um, I am gonna save a little bit for my Patreon. So if you are a Patreon, this might be one of those moments where you either wish you already a Patreon or hope to become one, because I will be giving out more whiskey in the future. Now, as far as this, Everything that I mentioned on the nose is right there on the palate. But I would say just a lot more. Everything's raised up beyond, you know, that level 10. A lot of toffee, blackstrap molasses, dark chocolate, coffee, leather. It's just all there and very, very well balanced. It's nothing that's like overpowering as far as like one thing being so overloaded and everything else is muted. Everything is right in its place. But I'm gonna take another sip because this is good for sure. So cheers again. Mm. Mm hmm. Holy cow. Okay. <laughs> this is taking my breath away, not because of the alcohol level, but because it sticks to the palate, it's very oily, it's very viscous, but all of the flavors really like hang on to that palate. It is warming, it's got a very long finish, full of flavor. It does have a little bit of fruitiness to it, but it's more on like the dark side. Like I said, it's like fig, a little bit of fig, a lot of honey. Um, doesn't have very much minerality to it, and you know, there's some folks that like to have a little bit of saltiness in that, in that flavor, flavor profile. Uh, but this is more on the sweet side. It's, wow, it's just, it's just building up and it's opening up into more complex things. But like I said, if you enjoy dark chocolate, if you enjoy dark chocolate and coffee, this is like right on par for you. You're gonna really enjoy this. Um, but it does have like these, these undertones of sweet and seasoned wood tannins. Feels leathery, feels dusty, feels a little earthy. And I like those because it's, you know, I feel like those earthy tones are what make bourbons taste so good. It's not like a tannin bomb or nothing like that. Uh, it's not overly tannic. Uh, it's just a nice layered and balanced approach to a great, great bourbon. Now, 
Um, these guys have received awards. Uh, my understanding is they've gotten some gold, silver awards, they've got Ascot awards, but I don't know that they've received a wool award yet. Now, if you guys are not, you know, sure what that is, you know, the Whiskey One Annual Honors Award. This, if I had one, would get it. Um, you know, definitely worthy of a woe award. Um, and this would be the first bottling that gets one. I just made that up, by the way. Um, <laughs> but if you guys are interested in, you know, getting your hands on this bottle, uh, my understanding is it's going to probably sell out very quick in high Texas where it'll be released from the distillery. They are gonna set some bottles aside, like I said, for their loyal favorite and, you know, loyal favorites. And they're gonna distribute the rest nationwide. I probably will see this in my area, New Mexico. Usually see some Garrison Brothers on the shelves nowadays. And it does retail for about $249.99, my understanding. So it is on the, the premium side of things. Um, and so you guys may be asking yourself, first and foremost, is it worth the cheddar? My goodness. I don't want you guys to feel like I'm biased because I got the free sample. But I will say this, it is rare that I will shell out over $200 on a whiskey unless I know it's gonna be damn good. Is this a damn good whiskey? It is a damn good whiskey. 100%. I understand why um, this is released annually. I think you guys would get, um, you guys would definitely get a little spoiled that this was always readily available. Um, so I definitely recommend it. Now, as far as who this speaks to, I would say that this speaks to the whiskey curious. Um, this is not your typical bourbon. This is not something that, you know, your average drinker or somebody's just getting into whiskey, maybe just starting to learn about bourbon would appreciate. I really say that because of how intense it is. This is high proof, but it's not just a proof bomb and a one trick pony. Uh, this really is very complex. It's very balanced and you know, this is one of those drams that I, I really would like to spend an hour just enjoying every drop of it. Uh, not just because I got the small four ounce sample, uh, which I do appreciate, um, but I think if I had a bottle of this, I would probably babysit that, that, that sucker because this is a really, really good whiskey. Um, again, I don't want you to feel like I'm biased because I got the free sample. I will tell you that if I can get a chance to find this bottle on the shelves, I'm going to get it. Uh, and I will say that's rare for me to say. Um, you know, again, for anybody to spend, you know, upwards of 200 or more on a whiskey, you gotta know that you're in store for something special. And I think Cowboy Bourbon is just that. So hopefully you guys got a little background, got a little knowledge and know what to expect if you see it. Um, I would highly recommend it, like I mentioned before, this is something a little unique and a nice twist on what most folks think of as bourbon. This is a great Texas bourbon. So for all you watching, I appreciate the love and the support. And if you guys are Patreons, thank you for continuing to support us as well. And if you're not a Patreon, you should certainly think about it. Here at Whiskey One, it's about the one you enjoy. Cheers.